how do you make sure that the players look forwards and not think back to if onlys? No, there is no if onlys for us. You know, it's we can't worry about if spots, maybes. We have to concentrate on on what we can we can manage, and what we control can control, and that is to look forward to um, an exciting end to the season, starting on Saturday at home to Exeter. And is it good to have another game before the playoffs, just to sort of, I suppose, get the momentum back again? I'm not sure we've lost any momentum. Well, um, it was a freak set of events, really. When you look, when you know, in, in control, and the ball bobbles up, and it hits Millsy on the knee and goes in the top corner, and the game changes. So it was a freak series of events. Um, I think what it does, it 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 gives us an opportunity to to digest it and make sure it doesn't happen again with the playoffs in mind and when it situation does arise where we come under a bit of pressure we're a bit calmer and and ready to to see it off so the fact that we've had this week and next week to plan and prepare gives us an advantage I think and does that also allow you to wrap one or two up in cotton wool if you need to maybe if we went to need to, but um, the other the other side of that coin is, do you want to keep the momentum going and, and keep trying to win games? But we have a plan, and, and it won't change from last Saturday evening after the crew game till all the way through the playoffs. And you talk about momentum, and that comes from form, obviously, as well. That's tied in with that. Um, how pleased are that yourself and Christian Deutsch have been nominated for League Two Manager and Player of the Month, respectively. Yeah, it just shows that we've had a decent month, doesn't it? You don't win it because we, we slip up at crew. Um, but that means nothing to us, them awards, and the big prize is, is what we want to try and get at the end of the season. But it's recognition with, what, five goals in his last five games that Christian Deutsch is you know, doing the sort of things that everyone knows he can. It's never been in doubt for us. It's, um, it's just normal business resumed and... He's ready to rock and roll for the playoff. Extra, of course, still fighting to get in those playoffs. Um, how important is Saturday's game in case you meet them in the in the playoffs? Obviously, all, all scenarios are still possible. Uh, I think we have to completely worry about ourselves and make sure that we're completely focused, prepared for the first playoff game and not worry too much about anybody else as much as we totally respect everyone and those games do come sort of thick and fast aren't they so I suppose this is where all the things that you've done in the season looking after the fitness and just managing the players in that way that this is when it counts yeah it's good to have a uh, I would say approaching the first playoff game we will have everybody fit including George Williams so we're in good we're in good shape and what's George's chances for this weekend? Still a little bit too early from this well, there's, weekend? There's no point in us risking him on Saturday at all. Um, no no, no benefit at all. And he'll have a realistic opportunity to be ready to start training next week. And actually, the way that people like Junior Mondal have stepped up in recent weeks, you know, you can cope quite obviously and quite easily without him in some ways. We can, but it's nice to have that competition, even if it is to come on off the bench for 20 minutes with his ability. Uh, Dale Grubb been outstanding in the last two games. Junior is is proving a real find, and um, the more good players you have at your disposal, the better. Certainly going into the playoffs. I've just gone out and had a, a look at the pitch. You said it wouldn't recover before the end of the season, but is it slowly getting a little bit better, or is it still very bobbly if you get down on the, on the, the pitch side? It's amazing what a bit of green paint can do, but um, nah, not really. Of course, with the weather and the, and the changing climate, it's gonna it's gonna slightly improve. But the damage was done at the start of the season. But we're not we're not going to use that excuse. We get on with it. But is it becoming ever so slightly easier to play on? Does that help in in any way or, or not? Um, not really. We do, like I say, we're not worrying too much about the pitch. It's not going to change now the way we play going into the playoffs. And you've been at this stage before. How much does that experience help of sort of going into the business end of the season? And you've done it before. This club's done it before. All right, it's new territory, but you've been in similar situations, and you've got players who've been in those situations as well. How much does that all help? 
uh, every little bit helps. But it's, it's 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 good that we can plan, we can prepare, we can get uh, the whole the whole squad and group fresh. I think is the word. If we can go into next Friday, Thursday, really fresh. It, of course, reality would say you you have a better chance. So, um, the experience is key, but it comes down to the performance on the day. Doesn't mean none of that means anything if you don't perform on the day. So, we have to focus and make sure we're ready. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you, Mark. How easy was it to put Saturday's freakish result out of your minds? For me personally, not easy, because you know what's at stake, and I. Sometimes you blame yourself, um, but the more you look at it, I'm not sure we could have stopped them goals. Um, but then they're individual mistakes, and something that happens, you know. It, it, but it doesn't leave you very easily. But we have to fight, like I said, Monday morning, ready to go again, and. We're fully focused on planning and the flip side of it is it gives us that period to plan and prepare to make sure we're I think it's us and Tranmere that can plan I think the rest are still going hell for leather either to get an automatic position or to scramble into the playoffs so Tranmere and ourselves are in a in a little bit of a fortunate position where we can really plan so have you seen the players get over it quite quickly this week? Their, their mindsets yeah. have changed? Yeah, I think they're really looking forward to, to the playoffs. I think some have been there before. I think the younger ones uh, are really excited about having an opportunity to play at Wembley at the end of it if we're to, to get through the, the semi-final. Yeah. Junior Mundell recently has really stepped up to the plate. How far can Junior go? Well, I think since he came, I, I spoke about the promise and... But it's important that you fulfil that. He's worked incredibly hard. He's he's quick, got a great left foot. Uh, he's desperate to be a football player, so he can go as far as he wants. Yeah. Sean McCleskey, it's been a bit, bit of a tough time for Sean. I mean, he was probably brought in to replace Christian Deutsch, so he's been a victim of Christian Deutsch coming back. But there is a lot of ability in that footballer. There is, but he has to start showing it now. He's got to... Uh, Every time he goes on the pitch, he has to play every game as though it's his last and show show uh, myself, the staff, the supporters, and more importantly himself, the, what it's about and, and show that he's got that ability to, to perform at this level. Yeah. With the playoffs in mind, are you planning to tinker on Saturday? I'm not going di to divulge that, of course. We have that luxury. Uh, but all I'll say is that we are going to make sure that we're ready to be the best we can be in the playoffs. Yeah. And do you like the fact you're going into a game where Exeter have got something to play for? Yeah, it's good that there's something on the game, be a great atmosphere. The Exeter fans will travel in numbers. They, you know, they have to win and hope that results go elsewhere. So sometimes that can play into your hands. They become a bit anxious and leave, maybe leave some spaces that they wouldn't normally leave. And they're aiming to get in the playoffs for the third consecutive season, so they're, they're doing a good job at that football club. Yeah, they the fan owned, um, two years running, been uh, lost in the playoff final, so they'll be wanting to put that right for certain. Yeah, just one more from me. The planning application is going in for next month for the new stadium. Finally, a bit of light at the end of the tunnel. Do you think? Yeah, it could be great. It'd be great to actually rubber stamp it and, and crack on with it. Yeah. You know, it's. Um, I'm sure the council. Will I'll uh, I'll give that its blessing, which it needs, and um, finally get on with what need, what needs to be done. And I'm sure, looking forward to the future, that would be somewhere you would love to manage Forest Green at. Yeah, I'd love to have an input in that and help with what needs to be implemented in a in a new stadium and a training facility.